Dear panelists and other participants of today's event, how can EPR promote sustainable consumption and production? It's my honor to welcome you on today's event, where we will analyze the impact of extended producer responsibility on both production and consumption of sustainable products. Today we will focus on EPR as policy instrument in order to stimulate the production of more sustainable products. EPR has been defined by the OECD as an environmental policy approach in which a producer's responsibility for a product is extended to the post-consumer stage of a product's life cycle. In, all, in other words, the EPR gives producers a, a, a responsibility to tackle the environmental impacts of products through their lifespan. This issue is well covered in many parts of EU legislation, mainly focused on waste that primarily rely on the imp imposition of, reco of recovery and recycling targets on the member states for the concerned end life products. This legal framework provides member states with tools for efficient waste management and assures a framework for collective waste management sy system by the, pro by the pro producers. If you look at the plastic, for example, the EPR requirements ensure the proper waste management of plastics and are ex expected to stimulate the production of more sustainable products. However, these, these regulatory instruments have had a limited impact in volume and scope or both, especially when considering the exponential yearly increase in production and use of plastic and other materials, including the growing number of new materials used in products. Therefore, new initiative and tools are needed for further promotion of the EPR schemes, both the producers and consumers. I am confident that during the event today you will be able to identify many useful tools, as well as potential regulatory measures that would promote wider impact of the EPR on producers and consumers, such as eco-design and new business models, as well as use the EPR as an instrument, instrument for waste reduction of sustainable consumption. I wish you a plenty and fruitful discussion.